Hello and welcome back to the tutorial series on data analysis using pandas, matplotlib, seaborn and numpy and this is the part 4 uh, where we explore part 4 and this is the part 4 of the tutorial series where we explore the titanic data set. So now let us uh, we compare the most of the columns now there are a few uh, there is uh, one more column remaining which is the embarked uh, or the people who boarded the ship from different stations like the C s and q where c is the suburb uh, s is the southampton and q is the queenstown so now let us just compare that uh, we will be doing a count plot for this particular uh, comparison so now let us start now uh, it will be a seaborn function count sns dot count plot and i will be mentioning the column uh, the column will be and we uh, embarked from where the people got in, in the ship and this is this this one is enough i'll execute this and i'll show you uh, this one is enough and uh, as usual i use i write the plot dot title title will be uh, what will be the title boarding station count and plot dot x label will be uh, port i'll write it as port and plot dot y label will be count and finally plot dot show and i'll run this part of code and as you can see this is the uh, comparison or the count plot uh, which mentions the people who got on the ship from different station s is the southampton she is the suburb and q is the queenstown uh, now i want to so she uh, now i want to uh, compare i want to check out the survival with respect to the boarding stations or boarding boats so i'll use the sim similar count plot but i'll mention under the argument in the count plot so i'll just copy this part of code and i'll paste it here so uh, another argument that i'll be mentioning here is the u we saw it in uh, one of the previous graphs where we mentioned the u and the u will be uh, survived the data uh, survived column survived column and i'll just change the 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 title station count survival and x label will the will be with the port and y label will be the count and i'll execute this part of code and we'll see the comparison or uh, distribution of survive or uh, people surviving with respect to the boarding ports okay there's an error i'm tired of these errors mistake in the survived part self and this once again and i can see this properly maximum amount of people got in from the southampton port and you can just uh, analyze the data this is just this is a simple analysis uh, next i'll move on to something which is called a heat map uh, i'll create a heat map and, and I'll, sh I'll, I'll let you know what is the logic and how useful the heat map is heat map is actually really a very very useful part so i want a larger figure because i like to explain it i'll be able to explain it to you properly figure big size 12 comma 8 and it is a c c bond function sns dot heat map and there are a few arguments that it takes the first one uh, this is slightly more complicated writing this down uh, and, and uh, you can just follow this uh, particular part of code in order to get a proper heat map first you mention the data frame name corr which and dot abs and uh, and not equals true now i'll plt dot show okay this much is enough 
and I'll run this part of code. As you can see, this is a heat map. These are the column names, and these are the column names. And we, what is a heat map? Heat maps basically help us uh, helps us identify the relationship between various columns. So as you can see uh, on this particular scale, the one is the highest relativity, and uh, the darkest one, uh, the black one, is the lowest relativity. And you can even uh, check that out uh, with the values mentioned here. So as you can see, uh, the, the the x label survived and y label survived intersect at this point, and it is one because they are the same thing. And if you see here, uh, p class, uh, we already saw earlier that the class had a high relationship, a proper relationship with the survival. So as you can see here, uh, the p class, uh, it is 0.55, and uh, as you can, if you can uh, see the intersection. It starts from fair and it ends at P and so it, what this shows us that the fair and P class has a high relationship. Uh, obviously we, we know that the class 1 people pay high amount of fair and class uh, 3 people pay low amount of fair so there is a good relationship between those two. Another strong relationship that we uh, find is the P class and survived uh, it is 0.34. Uh, the class 1 people were the maximum number of survivors and class 3 people had the lowest number of survivors and you can compare that as well but one a few columns I can't fi find a few columns the columns are the the gender and the the people the embark station that is because those are categorical values and those are not integer or float values those are categorical values so in order to get the, the heat map takes only the integer values and does not take any categorical value. So what we'll do is we'll come uh, we'll uh, uh, we'll transform those uh, categorical values to integer values and later on we'll be able to show them as well on the heat map. So let's just, just do that. We'll do that by using the replace function. So first I'll uh, change the category. I'll I'll convert the category to to integer value of the of the the gender so data and the column name is x and data i want to replace i want to replace the category okay i'm sorry i want to replace the category uh male to integer value I will take it as 1 and similarly I will just copy this thing and paste it here, here I'll, I want the female category to be converted to 0. I will run this part of code and the, another thing I want to convert the categorical value to integer value for the boring station. So I will copy this part and I will paste it here and instead of uh, the sex column I will be uh, mentioning the embarked column and I'll change this from sex to embarked and uh, there are no male and female here there are C, S and Q here ok I'll, I'll copy this and I'll paste it here once again I'll paste it here uh, so I want to change it from I'll change C I'll change Q and I'll change S I'll replace all these values with 1, 2 and 3 so I'll, this will convert the categorical values to integer values and later on we will be able to show this uh, display these values we will be able to include these values in our heat map so I'll run this part of code once again and now I'll copy the heat map once again and I'll execute this part and we'll, uh, we'll see another heat map paste it here and run it so as you can see as you can if you compare it uh, there were only six columns here after converting the categorical values to integer values we were able to include them in our heat map so if you compare the so you can see the 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 intensity of the or the you can see the relationship between uh, two columns two uh, two columns uh, you can see that the six or the gender has a high relationship between the survive, survived column 
because uh, it is uh, lighter in shade and the darker shades have low, low relationship between each other so just uh, you can just analyze this by yourself once again uh, so this was uh, the end of the part 4 of the data analysis tutorial i hope you like the video please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video